Hey everyone, today I'm diving into Marpol Annex 5 and what you, as maritime professionals, need to know. MARPOL, or the International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, is crucial for protecting our oceans. Annex 5 specifically deals with the prevention of pollution by garbage from ships. Let's break it down. First up, what is Annex 5? It's an international regulation that prohibits the discharge of all types of garbage into the sea, except in certain situations. This includes plastics, food waste, domestic waste and operational waste. The idea is to minimize marine pollution and safeguard marine life. Now let's talk about the different categories of garbage. Plastics are a big no-no. They cannot be discharged into the sea at any time. For food waste, it can only be discharged if you're 12 nautical miles from the nearest land, but make sure it's ground to less than 25 mm. Domestic waste and operational waste also have restrictions. You can't just throw them overboard. There are designated ports and facilities where this waste can be properly disposed of. One key point to remember is the garbage record book. Ships of 400 gross tonnage and above and ships certified to carry 15 persons or more must maintain this record book. Every discharge or incineration of garbage must be logged detailing the type, quantity and discharge method. This isn't just a formality, it ensures accountability and compliance with MARPOL regulations. Annex 5 also requires ships to have a garbage management plan. This plan should outline procedures for collecting, storing, processing and disposing of garbage, including the use of onboard equipment. It's about ensuring everyone on board knows their responsibilities and follows the correct procedures. Another important aspect is special areas. These are designated sea areas where the discharge of garbage is even more restricted. These include the Mediterranean Sea, Baltic Sea, Black Sea, Red Sea and several others. In these areas, stricter rules apply because of their unique ecological characteristics and heavy maritime traffic. Finally, remember that non-compliance can lead to hefty fines and penalties. More importantly, it's about protecting our marine environment. Every piece of garbage improperly disposed of can harm marine life and ecosystems. As maritime professionals, it's our duty to comply with these regulations and ensure our seas remain clean and healthy. So there you have it. A quick rundown of Marpol Annex 5. Keep these points in mind and you'll be contributing to a cleaner, safer ocean. Thanks for tuning in and stay safe out there.